Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. We're just a couple of wild and crazy kids in love. They love some Wild Card Wednesdays. It's Wild Card Wednesday! Yeah! And so for this Wild Card Wednesday, Helldivers 2 uh, trailers and intro won the poll. And uh, you can check out next week's poll by going in our community section and go ahead and vote for that. Um, I have no idea what this game's about. I guess it uh, came out not too long ago, like a month ago or so. Oh, wow. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and check it out. Cool. It says all the trailers. These are all the trailers I could find for it. And we got the intro. If, if you missed some, then I apologize. <laughs> Super Earth. Super Earth. Our home. Our Everything's solar power. of life. But freedom doesn't come free. <laughs> oh! Sweet liberty. Sweet liberty. <laughs> Look familiar? <laughs> Scenes like these are happening <laughs> all over the galaxy right now. And you could be next. No! That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Hmm. Join the Helldivers. Oh, damn. Okay. Dropped in like Space Marines. That's a cool shot. Yeah. Experience true freedom. The freedom to travel the galaxy and secure the resources we need to build a better tomorrow. The freedom to encounter fascinating life forms <laughs> and introduce them to our. Sophisticated technology. Nice. The freedom to make new friends <laughs> and represent the best of what Super Earth has to offer. <laughs> Become part of an elite oh. peacekeeping force and work together to spread prosperity, liberty, and democracy. <laughs> Become part of something larger than yourself. <laughs> Become a hero. <laughs> Become a legend. <laughs> Chest bump. A hell diver. Nice. That was a great trailer. Yes, it was. Becoming a hell diver may result in decapitation or morbid occasion. <laughs> hell diver survive. Short and sweet, okay. Hell Divers 2 is a tactical third person cooperative action shooter. Hi, I'm Johan Pielestad. I'm the CEO and creative director of Arrowhead. One thing that will be really familiar in Hell Divers 2 for returning players is the stratagem system. For those of you that are new, this is the ace up your sleeve. It's a system that allows you to interface with the many elements of the Super Earth arsenal, such as the Super Earth Destroyer, the Eagle Fighter, and the multitude of weapons and equipment that you can call down as you play the game. Nice. My favorite stratagem in Helldivers 2 is the Gatling Sentry. A killing machine unleash its devastating firepower into a swarm of enemies is truly a wondrous sight with this new third-person perspective. The mission you're playing is a big part of choosing your strategies. My name is Michael Eriksson and I'm a game director at Arrowhead Game Studios. If you're facing off against a heavily armored foe, you want to bring specialized armor penetrating weapons. But if you're blowing up a bug hive, make sure to bring orbital barrages or other highly explosive stratagems. The armor system that we've developed in the game is inspired by real firearms fired against armored targets. So this means that a shot at a shallow angle will get deflected and not penetrate the intended target. Hmm. When you choose your armor, make sure it fits your intended playstyle. If you want to play as a tank, pick a heavy armor with <laughs> high resistance. I usually play with light armor because of the increased mobility and decreased enemy detection range. Stealth approach. Two, death is cheap. 
to most of everything, even including your own friend's misplaced orbital bombardment. <laughs> Every time a hell diver is reinforced, that's a new citizen finally fulfilling the super earth dream that they've fantasized about from early childhood. This is just a small piece of what we have planned for Helldivers 2. And we can't wait to hear about your experiences once this game launches later this year. Spread managed democracy. <laughs> Attention, citizens. The tide of war is turning against us. As we battle against the bugs for democracy, the automaton threat grows more menacing by the day. Ooh. Yeah. We need valiant soldiers to infiltrate their planets, take on these deadly robotic hordes, and spread our message of peace and democracy. <laughs> of course. Just the way he says democracy every time. Great. Yeah. Enunciation's perfect. Use the galaxy's most advanced weaponry. Fight alongside a squad <laughs> worth dying for. Time to freedom. Bring democracy to the universe once and for all. Join the Hell Divers. Oh, Join the fight for freedom. Enlist today. The Federation of Super Earth, keeping managed democracy safe with the lives of our heroes, protecting freedom from tyranny with the gentle touch of an iron fist. But Liberty's enemies march ever closer. Ooh. Together, we must take back control of freedom. <laughs> Together for managed democracy. <laughs> Together for victory. Together for liberty. Oh. <laughs> Together, they fight for freedom. Will you? <laughs> in the galaxy's elite fighting force. Work together to protect your future. Okay, I place these explosions for each one of our little, little beats in the, in the song. Mm -hmm. That was good. It's good sync. Dispense peace with the ultimate weapon room. A legend. <laughs> Join the Helldivers, the galaxy's last line of offense. <laughs> to the beginning of this game, the Terminants, which had been confined to their own farm planets, harvested for Element 710, have broken loose. And the Helldivers are being mobilized once more to deal with this threat, but also the brand new race. They seem to be called the Automatons, they work as full robots. It might not be a bad idea to put them in their place too. You're going to be playing as a Helldiver. They go through training. Very thorough training. And are frozen until needed. Our cryogenic technology is second to none. When you start to play as a Helldiver, they've just been defrosted and ready to command their Super Destroyer. In the game of Helldivers 2, you are going to spend most of your time in combat, fighting enemies. 
everything that's happening outside of the mission when you're on your ship is about strategy. The galactic map shows you the current situation of the war. It shows you what planets are super Earth planets, what planets are being covered by some sort of enemy scum, and where the battlefront is. And as the hell diver, you get to decide exactly what planet you're going to fight on, what enemies you're going to go against. You get to make quite a number of choices there. That's pretty cool. At the same time, the Galactic War is the place where Super Earth High Command is going to be communicating out to hell divers across the galaxy. They'll be letting you know what the current top military priority is. They are broken out into two types of orders, major orders and personal orders. Major orders are big, long-lasting things that the community as a whole is working towards. These are things that are central to the story. There are ways in which you can be a major contributor to changing the face of the galaxy itself. That's going to take a combined missions. effort of hell divers across the galaxy working toward that type of goal. On the personal order level, something that you and your squad can do all together, maybe you'll be sent off to kill a couple of really terrifying enemies, and only in a specific way. And if you do it exactly in that way, you'll get a reward for having done the good work of Super Earth. An operation is a uh, number of missions. On lower difficulties, you have fewer missions. As you go into higher difficulties, you get more missions per operation. In a mission, you don't simply have one thing that you're doing. You need to shoot the nuclear missile. You need to start up the generators for it. You need to find the launch codes. These are objectives spread out on the map. There's also secondary optional objectives. You don't have to do it, but you are rewarded if you do. Sometimes you find an artillery gun that you can load up and then you can use uh, that artillery gun. But there's also hostile ones. There are artillery emplacements, buildings that disables you from using your stratagems, gooey bug structures that spreads fog. You have your Helldiver Destroyer. It can be upgraded. In the ship management, you buy bigger guns, better eagles, and better than building those, a gummy you ship. Need samples. <laughs> you find them on the level. You need to extract to get your samples with you to your ship. Requisition you use to buy stratagems. You get it mainly by just doing your missions. Most of your personal equipment, like your armor, your helmet, primary weapons, grenades, those are acquired in your warbond. And in the warbond, you need medals. You get medals from doing operations. You also get it from doing orders. You have a lot of stuff that you as a player get to choose from and uh, create a, a loadout that fits your playstyle. <laughs> the Galactic War isn't just that though. It's also a place where we, as the developers, can interact with you, watching what you are doing, watching how the community is playing, and maybe, if appropriate, giving you just the weapon you need to push yourself over the edge. Or maybe, if it's the right time in the story, seeing a negative consequence and giving you an added challenge. We don't think that many other games are going to be able to offer what Helldivers 2 can. We love our game, and we want you to love our game just as much as we do. And we want to be part of it. We want to be part of it together <laughs> alongside you. So pre-order Helldivers 2 and let us play alongside you. Oh! oh. <sighs> Gotta clear the blast area. Nice. Sweet! Yep. Fish in a barrel. Super Earth. 
bastion of peace, prosperity, and managed democracy. For 100 years, our colonists have toiled happily to enshrine the unquestionable rule of freedom. But now, our enemies rise from the shadows once more. The tyrannical terminates spread unfettered across the galaxy. The socialist automatons terrorize innocent families. Babes are torn from their mothers, voters from their ballots. <coughs> In this time of need, Super <coughs> once again calls on the mightiest, <coughs> bravest, most obedient heroes. The Hell Divers. No cost is too high. No sacrifice is too great. You are democracy's most elite, least hesitant defenders. The Terminids will be contained. The automatons dismantled. You will grind our enemies into oblivion. For freedom. For managed democracy. <laughs> for Super Earth. Join the Helldivers, the galaxy's last line of offense. Nice, last line of defense. Slow motion gun. Did go see fun and chaotic action? That pretty much sums it up. I believe it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very like familiar, actually. Happening all over the galaxy right now. You could be next. That was when their first trailer was the that is, interesting. Man. Unless you make the most important decision of your life, prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Hell Divers. Oh! <laughs> and spread managed democracy throughout the galaxy. All right, so little, some small changes. Become a legend. Become a hell diver. Wow! So crazy, chaotic, fun. Uh, one of the reviews said, and that's kind of what it seems like from the the trailers. I got super strong Starship Trooper vibes oh, yeah. during this, um, which was very fun. And I was sitting here thinking like, wow, did it really take this long for somebody to make Starship Troopers into a game? <laughs> that like the sort of um, satirical commentary on freedom and democracy, <laughs> like, oh, so delicious. Um, and the giant Tyranids, terrifying as you probably yeah. heard bucky did not care for them very much he was growling when they were on screen yep um but but it doesn't end with tyranids we also have terminators in here <laughs> so very fun this just 
It looks like perfect escapism to just like go in there and start blowing shit up. Yeah, that was what I was getting the vibes of like Halo, like uh, for the Spartans when it first like dropped dropped in. Yeah. Um, and then uh, obviously like you like you said, I don't think they were called Tyranids, but they're they're basically Tyranids from uh, Warhammer 40k, and then kind of like Necrons uh, for the other uh, characters that like are the Terminator ones. Um, was the vibe that I was getting for that. And I've never seen Starship Troopers, but every time there's like big bug things, I'm just like, I'm like, I'm like Beth's gonna talk about Starship Troopers because that's that's what you always love. That it's true. Yeah, it's true. Starship Troopers made an impact on my youth when I saw giant bugs. So yeah. Um, and yeah, I just love the the humor in it. Um, the first one, which <clears> uh, <throat> trailer we saw, which I guess ended up being uh, the intro ultimately for for the game. Um, they changed a couple of things. They added a little bit more uh, to the intro, but it wasn't like much. It was like you know maybe like five seconds more or something like that. Uh, or maybe I just noticed more when I saw it the second time than I did the first time. Um, I don't. I mean, it's like more of a co-op uh, game. Um, feels like uh, I don't know if it's just like if you could, there is like a campaign or if it's just online um, that you're you're playing. Uh, so not sure if it's a game necessarily that we'll end up playing, but um, it looks like a lot of fun. Definitely looks like fun, and I love um, the one creator that they had in there who was saying like, you know, we can't wait to play with you. Yeah, that's um, kind of fun. And all the other creators were were very much what you might expect for like that docu-style. So mm -hmm. tell us about your job kind of thing. Yeah. But the one who was like, we want to play with you. Like you could just, he exuded the enthusiasm for that as well as his own love of the game that was created. So you can tell like, he really invested a lot into that, poured his heart and soul into it, and now cannot wait to interact with the audience and see, like, how is it received? How are you playing? What can we do to make it better next time? Like, um, and and his excitement got me even more excited. So he was very effective as like sort of a spokesperson for the creative team. I was like the head designer or, or game creator or whatever, or maybe just the head mm. of the company. At the end of uh, the video, when like the, the first two designers were there, he did like a little, the little gun thing. And at first I thought, I'm like, oh, dude, I was like, you're trying too hard. But then I'm like, oh, no, like, as he, as he said the thing, I'm like, oh, okay, you're, you're, you're doing the bit. Um, and he gave it his all, man. He tried, he sold it as, as well as he could. And I thought that was like, I'm like, way to go for it, man. Yep. That's fun, you know? Because sure. a, lot, a lot of times, you know, you try to be like too serious about it. Oh, I don't want to come across as like foolish or whatever. And, uh, but no, like to, to have fun with it, that, that was great. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I second that entirely. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And uh, if you want to vote for our next Wildcard Wednesday video, check out our community tab. We got a poll right now. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Helldivers 2 trailers and intro, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.